Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we are starting algebra, specifically writing equations in one variable. Let's get started. All right, so before we get to our first example, first, let's talk about what exactly an equation is. Well, we've already learned about expressions, which are mathematical phrases, okay? They didn't have an equal sign, but an equation is a mathematical sentence that does have an equal sign and shows that two expressions are equal to each other. And now when you're writing equations, same thing as writing expressions, we're looking for those keywords but now we're also looking for words that mean the equal sign. So words that to watch out for are is, is means equals, uh, the same as, that also means the equal sign, or just equals. That's a, that's a pretty obvious one. So let's get to the first example. Okay, let's get started. Example one, write the sentence as an equation. Uh, now, if you haven't already learned how to write expressions, check out this link right here and watch that video. That's going to help a lot for this video. Um, so, we are first looking for those keywords that could either mean operations or we're also looking for those words that mean the equal sign. So first, right away, number one, the sum of n and 7 is 15. So, sum is a keyword, uh, and is a keyword, and is is a keyword. Sum, we know, means answer of addition. The and is where that addition goes in my equation. And then finally, is, we just learned, means equals. So let's put it all together and write our equation. So we've got n plus 7 equals 15. There is our equation. We've got two expressions that are equal to each other. All right, number two. The product of x and 13 is 39. Same thing, let's look for those keywords first. Hopefully something jumps out, a few things jump out. Product, okay, is a keyword. Again, and, and is. Remember, sum, difference, product, quotient, those four words, they also come in pairs. You also want to find the and. Product means answer multiplication. And, again, just like number one, and is where that multiplication will go. And then finally is, same thing as before, is the equal sign. So I've got x times 13. But I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do x times 13. This is algebra. We're not using this symbol for multiplication anymore. Um, hopefully right now, it's pretty obvious why. It gets really confusing with x that's a variable. So we don't want to use that. We don't want to use the dot to mean multiplication either because that gets confusing when we have decimals. So we don't use that either. I don't, I'm not going to write it like this, okay? Instead, Hopefully you're used to this already, but if you need a reminder, when we have a number multiplied by a variable, the, the number or the coefficient always comes first. So even though it's x times 13, we write it as 13x, okay? 13x means 13 times x, which is the same as x times 13, is equals 39. Two expressions that are equal to each other. And that is my equation, okay? Last one, number three, 24 is the same as the quotient of w and three. All right, keywords, is the same as, right there, quotient, and, and, again. Uh, that means equals. Quotient is division, and is where that division goes. So, we're gonna start with 24. 24 equals the quotient. Well, what are we dividing? W divided by 3. But just like we don't use the little x, excuse me, for the time symbol, 
I'm not going to use this for division either. You should get in the habit of writing it like a fraction. So w divided by 3 is w over 3. There is my equation. Okay? Here's some to try on your own. Okay, example two. After two rounds on The Voice, 24 contestants have been eliminated. There are 12 contestants remaining. Write an equation you can use to find the number of contestants that started the competition. All right, let's get started. So first, what are our key words? Well, there's no words like, uh, you know, quotient or product or the difference or subtract or anything like that, but there are words that do mean operations. So hopefully when you look at that question, the word eliminated stands out, okay? Eliminated means we're gonna subtract, okay? Well, what are we subtracting? Well, how many contestants got eliminated? 24, so we know we will be subtracting 24. What are we subtracting it from? Well, we're subtracting it from the number of contestants that started the competition. We don't know that. That's what the question was asking. Write an equation you can use to find the number of contestants that started the competition. And we don't know that. So what do we do with something we don't know? Well, we make a variable out of it. So what could we use? Well, you can always use X or Y, but it's really a good idea to get in the habit of choosing a variable that makes sense for what it represents. We're, we want a variable that represents the number of contestants that started the competition. So why don't we just say C? And I always like to write it down. Okay, so that's C. Well, so I'm gonna put that in my equation. So the number of contestants I started with, or that the competition started with, minus 24, those are the ones that got eliminated. Well, how many are remaining? Well, they told us there were 12 remaining. So that's gonna be equal to 12. There is my equation, okay? It's got a variable. We've got two expressions that are equal to each other. Now, one thing you don't want to do when you're writing an equation is pay attention to the instructions. It says write an equation you can use to find the number of contestants that started the equation. So if your equation is C equals 36, you've already solved the equation. We're not, the question is not asking for you to do that. If you write an equation where the variable is already by itself, you're, not, you're kind of missing the point. You're already solving it, you're jumping ahead. We want the original equation. What are we starting with? So this is what we should be starting with. This is the equation that we can use to find the number of contestants uh, that started the competition. All right, here's some more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.